This is Dr. Del Meyer. I'm a lung doctor here in Carmichael outside of Sacramento, California. Um, this week I'd like to talk to you about a very popular item in the news uh, of the past two weeks, the uh, pepper spray incidents at the University of California, Davis. Um, the geeky triumph of a pepper spray cop, uh, Lieutenant Pike, has had a viral expansion on the uh, web and uh, he's gotten to be somewhat of a hero. Uh, pepper spray has been around a long time to vanquish the hero and protect people, but uh, he has uh, pictures of him spraying into the students who were really not violent and did not to be, have to be subdued, uh, which created quite a stir. Um, and uh, pepper spray has become so popular because of uh, the um, inherently so wrong about it that uh, everybody just kind of got excited, and, but there's a lot more to it. There's really nothing funny about the nightmares at UC Davis on November the 18th. One of the protesters allegedly suffered nerve damage and has yet to find out whether the effects will be permanent. Another was reported to take in the hospital after the spray triggered an asthma attack and beyond the physical injuries to a horde of nonviolent individuals gathering in protest, the shock, disgust, and institutional distress many individuals around the world feel right now will linger long after the eyes of the victims have stopped burning and many have called for the uh, resignation of the uh, university uh, ch uh, chancellor. Uh, so the humor has given way to some very serious discussions and today I'd like to uh, go over some of the important things about uh, pepper spray. Uh, uh, the technical name is uh, frequently OC or oleoresin capsicum and uh, this is a, um, a pepper plant and as you know pepper plants sometimes have a thousand volt variation in how they burn your tongue and uh, your body. It's a, basically a lacrimatory agent which means it causes tears uh, and irritates the eyes and causes pain and even temporary blindness. Uh, it's used in riot control, crowd control and personal self-defense including defense against dogs and bears um, uh, hostile animals, mountain lions, uh, and gives the uh, uh, victim a chance to escape. Um, the, um, it's considered a less than lethal agent, although it has been deadly in several rare cases, and uh, which caused some of the concerns of why it's so variably approved throughout the world in the states of the country. Uh, <clears throat> The active ingredients of pepper spray is capsaicin, which is a chemical derived from the fruits of the uh, pepper plant. It's uh, ground up and uh, extracted in organic solvents like ethanol or alcohol, evaporated, and then becomes wax light and it has to be emulsified to be put into aerosol cans. Uh, so it's basically an irritant for mammals, including humans, and produces uh, a sensation of burning in any tissue with which it comes into contact. Capsaicin and several related compounds are capsaicinoids that are produced as secondary metabolites by chili peppers and probably as a deterrent to herbivores and fungi to keep them from attacking the plant. Here capsaicin is a hydrophobic colorless waxy compound. Synthetic analogs of capsaicin, uh, pelargonic acid, um, is used in another version for as pepper spray known as PAVA, P-A-V-A spray, which is used in the United Kingdom. Another synthetic counterpoint um, is uh, widely used in Russia. Its effectiveness compared to natural pepper spray is unclear. Pepper spray comes typically in canisters, which are often small enough to be carried in a concealed pocket or purse. Pepper spray can also be bought concealed in items such as rings. Pepper spray projectiles are available and can be fired from paintball guns. It's been used for years against demonstrators. Many canisters also contain dyes, either visible or ultraviolet reactive, to mark and attack your skin and on clothing to enhance identification by police. Another <coughs> term is MACE, a registered trademark of the uh, MACE Security International and is often used synonymously with pepper spray, although it's uh, quite different and the original, original manufacturers of non-lethal security sprays in the U.S., but uh, not all the products are considered uh, um, pepper spray. Uh, 
How do you deactivate uh, uh, pepper spray or capsaicin? It's not soluble in water and therefore you can't wash it off. Um, and it's, victims are generally encouraged to blink vigorously to keep uh, encouraged tears, help flush the irritant from the eyes. Some formal studies of um, different recommended treatments for the skin pain include for Maalox, lidocaine gel, baby shampoo, milk, water, and all the conclusions are there's no significant difference in pain relief with these different agents. Time after the exposure appears to be the best predictor for a decrease in pain. <coughs> Dilute chlorine bleach has been used uh, with good results, but not in the eyes, of course. Uh, one part in five parts of water is recommended. Others have used the um, uh, contact lens solutions as a wetting agent, which seems to cause uh, some ocular eye relief. So one wants to avoid rubbing into the skin, touching affected areas, thereby, <coughs> me, thereby prolonging the burning sensation so as not to spread the compound to other parts of the body. There are also wipes manufactured for this purpose, ambulances carry uh, pepper spray and um, carry ba baby shampoo. They've had some fairly good results. Some of the pepper spray remains in the respiratory symptoms, and that's why asthma is one of the complications of its use. But the vision recovery occurs usually within 7 to 15 minutes. Uh, and uh, some of the other effects uh, uh, take a little bit longer. Uh, <coughs> We'll continue this discussion on the uh, next episode next week. Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, you can find some of this information on my website, delmeyer.net, and uh, some of the uh, associate information on my uh, practice-related website, medicaltuesday.net. Thank you for listening.